telling you another scary story using this filter. It was a cold, dark night in Canada. The school day had finished, and Horatio was walking home because he was tired and poor. Everything is quiet until an almighty quiet scares him. Horatio comes to a stop and says, Don't you care, Joshua? Horatio dives into his backpack and grabs a Edwardian jewel. He holds it up where the noise came from and says, Please kill, kill. Ah! But it was too late. Horatio turns to see Ryan Reynolds in a leopard print leotard. And before he could scream, Ryan Reynolds walks over to him and just licks him to death. Making up a scary story using this filter until someone acts it out. Here we go. It was a dark October night in Detroit and Frederick was awoken by an almighty ding. Frederick was dyslexic and scared. Panicking, he flicks on his bedroom light to see Marilyn Monroe with a jewel. Frederick lets out an almighty scream, hoping his servant will hear him. Tomorrow, scissors, fire! But it was no use, for his servant was a... asleep. So Frederick rolls to his bedside table to grab his trusty... wife. He throws his wife at Marilyn Monroe and yells, Choke on this, you piece of... fuck. But alas, he misses. Marilyn Monroe takes a hit of her jewel and looks at him, saying, <laughs> Xylophones eat dildos, boy. <laughs> she takes another puff and jogs over to him. She stares him in the eyes again and says, I'm going to kill you. That was... And then she kills him. Oh! Making a scary story using this filter until someone acts it out. Part 3. It's 3 a.m. in Oklahoma, and Yvonne. <coughs> Yvonne can't fall asleep. She is cursed with PTSD from her time battling against the Ugandans. In an attempt to comfort herself, she rolls over to pet her trusty dog, Jonathan. She pets him gently and sings, Cats, man. Jonathan. But Jonathan doesn't move. He's motionless like a elephant with no legs. Yvonne looks closer. Jonathan is dead. Suddenly she hears a noise. Mamma Mia, Alabama. Igloo! She turns to see Leonardo DiCaprio stood at the end of her bed. He's wearing a silly hat. I'm going to f Kneel on you, he says. Yvonne screams, no, please don't kneel on me. I have a tomato. You can have it. But Leonardo DiCaprio says nothing. He pulls a tomato out from under his silly hat and proceeds to mash it into her face to death. Telling you a scary story using this filter. Part four. It's a late night in Kazakhstan and... Samuel and his friends, Xavier and Frederico, are playing Truth or Dare. It's Samuel's turn, and he's feeling children. Lucky. Give me a dare, he says. Federico says, okay, I dare you to beep. Challenge accepted, says Samuel. But before he can beep, the room goes dark. He hears a scream. Ah, la, la, la. <laughs> the light turns back on, and Xavier is lying dead on the floor like a wet cow. He looks up from Xavier's wet cow body to see Frederico. He's holding a banana. But Frederico, why? Frederico laughs. <laughs> you fool, I am not really Frederico. He pulls off his mask that he was wearing a mask the whole time to reveal it was actually Tom Holland. Tom Holland points the banana at Samuel. I'm sorry, he says, but I work for the origami t uh, gang and I can't have any loose ends. He pulls the trigger. Pew! The end. Telling you a scary story using this filter. 
Part 5. The year is 2048, and half of the population has been wiped out by paedophiles. We need to find some burgers, says Francis, as he sharpens his trusty iguana. You're joking, right? Says Gertrude. We're the oh, origami gang. We don't need no burgers. Do you want to queef? I'm tired of fighting over sausages. We built this shelter out of women and cats. And you want to throw that all away for some burgers? Francis pishes in disbelief. Pssh! But before he can reply, they hear a whisper. Penis. What was that? Says Francis. He turns to Gertrude. He's gone. Gertrude? Where are you, Gertrude? I'm over here, Francis. Francis turns to see Gertrude with a gang of Englishmen behind him. Francis gags in disappointment. <laughs> you really had to go and join the burger gang. I'm sorry, but they have burgers. Any last words, old friend? Yeah, I got one. Eggplant. <laughs> The end. Telling you a scary story using this filter, part six. It's a quiet evening in Nigeria. Quinton is in his hotel room watching girls. Suddenly, the hotel phone rings. ding a ling a ling a ling Quinton picks up the phone and answers it. Hello? <laughs> He's met with silence, but then a creepy voice whispers through the phone. Quinton. California girl. Who is this? Who are you? Says Quinton. It's me. John Travolta. <laughs> Quinton gags in horror. <clears throat> Please leave me alone. I have gonorrhea. But, but the line goes dead. Quinton looks back to the TV. The channel has changed. On the screen, Peppa Pig. No, please. I'm vegan. Quinton crawls to the door of the hotel. But in the way stands a shadowy figure. It's John Travolta. And in his hand, a grenade. You're gonna pay for what you did to those kids, says John Travolta. But I didn't mean to pee on those kids, says Quinton. But it's too late. John Travolta laughs seductively. <laughs> Tell that to Satan when you see him in Alaska. He raises his grenade. <laughs> Prepare to weep. <laughs> Oral of the story. Nobody pees on kids and lives to tell the tale. The end.